This is Guilherme Trevisan, and in this video I want to show you how to use my script, GT Renamer. So first you select what you want to affect, only the selected object, the hierarchy of the object, or everything in the scene. Let's start with only the selected object. These options at the top are pretty obvious, as you can see it removes the first letter or the last letter. I can also make everything uppercase, I can capitalize every word, or I can make everything lowercase. The next option allows you to rename your objects and also number them with padding. I can also select a different start number or more padding. The prefix and suffix options can automatically rename your object based on their position or their type. Let's see how the prefix works. You can see that this skeleton has some joints in positive X, negative X, and others that are aligned to the center. You can see that I switched to hierarchy, so it affects all the objects under the, the spine. And uh, if I run the script, it renames everything with left, right, or center, based on the X position of the object. And if I don't want to rename the center, let's say, I can just delete the word and run the script again. As you can see, it didn't rename the spine, even though it is in the center. Of course, you can still create your prefix manually. If you want, you can just change it to input and type whatever you want in there. The auto suffix works in the same way. As you can see here, it's just going to use the object type to determine what to, to use for its name. Much like the prefix, if you want, you can manually enter the input instead of using the auto option. And of course, here at the bottom, I have the good and old search and replace. If something is unclear or you're using a different version, make sure to check the help menu. I try to include a bunch of information in there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.